everybody. Today I want to introduce you, to give you a basic introduction to a topic that you probably have heard about before, at least a little, and this is what's called power chords. Or you can also see chords that have the number five in them. So for example, instead of just saying a C chord, you will see a chord that states C5. And if you play it just as a regular C, it just doesn't sound right. So I will show you exactly what I'm talking about and let's begin. First of all, power chords are simple. They are, even if they sound like they have a fancy name, they are simpler than all of the other chords that you have been playing up until now because power chords contain in the basic versions of them that are also the, by far the most common, they contain only two notes. And what I mean by that is that here, for example, I will give you an example for the sound of the power chord. This is a sound that really some bands just made a whole career about it. And it is also very, very common in hard rock music, metal music, especially that kind of stuff. Anyway, for example, Blink-182, almost all of their songs are built on power chords. Anyway, here's an example of how power chord sounds like. This is a power chord, an F power chord. Power chords are very often associated with the sound of distortion, that kind of sound. And also they are very often associated with what's called palm muting, where as you can see I was playing, but my palm was resting on the strings, so instead of having a dirty, too much, you know, muddy sound, I muted it a little bit like this. Now, what are power chords about? So, first we need a little theory lesson. It's not a must to understand in order to play those chords, but it will help you to start really gain the knowledge of what's behind it. So, let's turn off the distortion. So, chords are built from three notes. Basic chords are built from three notes, major or minor chords. And if we see, if we look at the C major scale, for example, the most simple scale, so it's built of the notes C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Now, in order to build a major chord, we just take the one, the first degree, which is the C note. We take the third degree, which in the case of the C major scale, it is the E note. And we take the fifth degree, which is the G note. So the C major chord is built from the notes C, E, and G. The first, the third, and the fifth. Now, the third is also very important because this is what gives the chord its identity. If the third is lowered by a half step, so it is a minor chord, and if it is not lowered, so it is a major chord the bit happier sounding version and the minor is a bit more sad. So for example, let's say, here's my pick. This is an A major chord. And this note right here, the C sharp is the third degree of the A chord. And now if we take this C sharp and lower it by a half step to a C, so we get an A minor. It is a bit more sad. A major. A minor. Now, for power chords, this third degree is not relevant. We leave it out, so the chord has no identity, and we only have the first, the root, and the fifth. That's why these chords are also called, or you can also see the, the number five in their symbol. So instead of C, if you see a C5, it means it's a power chord. So let's talk about how to actually play it. So, Let's start with the more basic version, and this is, we can finger a full F bar chord right here. And what we're going to do is we are only going to play the sixth string. And by the way, just want to add, you don't really have to use this whole F bar power, this whole F bar, but it is in the beginning more simple. That's why I'm showing that. You can also just do 
like this because as we said we're not going to play these strings but it is more comfortable since you already know this form so let's play the F bar chord as you know it and what we're going to do in order to play a power chord is to only play the upper two strings or upper three if you wish to have sound that is a bit more deep so this is a power chord this is it when you just play those upper strings now it is also very associated and very common to play power chords just with down strokes with a pick just like that so and as i said also use palm muting this is the first way of playing power chords this is the way that is most popular you can also play it on G A B C etc this is the first way now the second way if right now we talked about bar chords that are built with a bass on the sixth string the second way the second most popular way is to play it on, par, on bar chords that have their bass note on the fifth string. For example, you probably know this form of the C chord. So when you play this C chord, what you can do is that you can only play this fifth string and fourth string. Now here for a power chord, theoretically, you can also play the third string, but the third string is not a bass note. It's a treble note, so it sounds different. So usually you won't do that, and you will only opt to play the fifth string and the fourth string. Let's see how it sounds like with a bit of distortion. Now again, you don't really need to play the whole bar shape. You can just play these two notes and use your finger here, your index finger, just to slightly sit down on those three strings the treble strings so just so it mutes them and then this is the more correct way of playing those power chords right here as in here you also want to do that but again i just showed you the bar chord because this is the form that you're most likely used in. so you press the bar and then you only play the upper three strings and after that you move on to not really pressing down the bar on those strings that you don't play. So this is it basically. This was a quick introduction to the most common power chords, to what they are. Again, the most common chord that you'll encounter in hard rock music, metal music, and stuff like that. Hope this gives you some useful information. Have a great time and I will see you in the next videos. Goodbye.